Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another three box break of those Fanatics Under Wraps autographed baseballs. No, this is break number 39, really nice stuff here. One spot gets you nine players. There's one spot that gets any and all autographed baseballs. So one spot gets you nine, so let's multiply this by nine. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's get all these players, or get your names in the first list. And let's get all the players' names in the second list. And let's roll it. Randomize names and players, one and a six, seven times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We got Steve all the way down to Eric. One and a six, seven times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Cal Ripken Jr. down to Buster Posey. A lot of other players in between. So as we've been doing, we're gonna show you the list as is. And then we'll alphabetize by your first name so you'll know, you can see all your players grouped together. All right, let's alphabetize by your first name. Let's make this a little bit smaller. So Eric, there are your players right here. A lot of them, thank you. Right up to there. Eugene's got a lot of players as well. Good luck to all. Michael P, good group of players there. Steve H, a lot of players as well. Thanks everyone for making this happen, appreciate it. All right, there's everyone right there. Now we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back folks. No deals were done. I don't know if there's not too much activity in the chat, but let's see if anybody's around to play a little bit of who am I. I'm going to give you some clues of the player inside and then you'll try to guess. Simple as that. For fun. Bragging rights. Right, we've got a retired baseball player. Bat left through right, one of those guys. A, uh, a right fielder. Lifetime 311 batting average, 3,089 hits, 117 home runs, 780 runs batted in, and 509 stolen bases. Played for three teams my entire career. A seven-time All-Star, um, a ten-time All-Star, an AL MVP, the same as my Rookie of the Year campaign as well. One of those rare, or is he the only one? Rookie of the Year and MVP. Ten gold gloves, three silver sluggers, two AL batting champion uh, batting titles, and an AL stolen base leader. And I, I think I still hold the single season hits record with 262. Who am I? Kevin's got it. 
It's Ichiro. I mean, imagine what imagine what he would have done if he played his entire career in the majors. He might have been a could have had 4000 hits maybe. So there are the two stickers right there. And that goes to Eric Clicks with Ichiro. Nice. Congrats, Eric. Next box. All right, who am I? Five ten, one ninety. Switch hitter, throws right, an outfielder, and a uh, a top prospect in baseball. hasn't played a major league baseball game yet, but I think he's gonna be could be one of the one of the big ones. Born in the Dominican Republic. I think named after a baseball player. Began to train for a career in baseball at the age of eight. He had a he signed a trainer at the age of thirteen and played as a catcher before transitioning to a center fielder. Considered a five tool player. It's been compared to Mickey Mantle, Bo Jackson, Mike Trout. There's like there's a there's a lot of uh expectations for him got all of the international signing money that the that this team had it's only 20 years old just turned 20 in february i don't know when he's slated to show up to the majors Not Gunnar Henderson. Not Colas. Yeah, he's slated to show up in the majors. He might get a cup of coffee at the end of the year. And then probably battle for a starting job in 2024. Yeah, Adam's got it. Jason Dominguez. I feel like his he had a slow start to his uh, his minor league campaign. I don't know if his first year was super impressive, but there it is. And there are the, uh, the corresponding stickers right there. But I think he's he's really started to uh, to heat up, showing a lot of promise. I mean, him and Aaron Judge in the outfield could be pretty amazing, or Aaron Judge could go to DH. I don't know, a lot of options with that, uh, with that player. Uh, Eugene with Jason Dominguez, nice. All right, next box. Third and final. Ooh, we got a World Series baseball. Single signer, but a World Series baseball with a World Series champ inscription on it. All right, a retired player. Uh, 
No, I don't think he's even on the checklist, Charles. And that was, I think, 01, not 2011. Um, we've got a left-handed retired pitcher who was, uh, who was born in Torrance, California, which is just a few miles away from Jaspies. He's got a lifetime win-loss record, 239 to 157, a 413 ERA and 2,201 strikeouts, a three-time All-Star, a two-time World Series champion, an ALCS MVP, an AL wins leader. I've got a perfect game as well. He played for a lot of teams. He played for a lot of teams. Uh, Blue Jays, Tigers, Reds, Orioles, Yankees, back to the Blue Jays, White Sox, Yankees again, Padres, Red Sox, Padres, uh, and Dodgers. Who am I? And, uh, I mean, he really carved out, bounced around a lot, but really carved out a nice, a really nice career. Yep, Kevin and Charles has got it. David Wells. Boomer. And that'll go to Steve H. And the baseball is from... The 1992 World Series. That's awesome. That's really cool. It's an official 1992 World Series baseball with both of the stickers on there. We should go grab Oliver's 2020 World Series baseball and compare it with the old 1992 World Series baseball. Maybe even cut it in half and see what's inside. There's been a lot of complaints about like the the stitches are a little higher on one and not not high enough on the other one's slicker than the other baseballs in previous years anyway david wells fun guy i think did he say that he pitched his perfect game hungover <laughs> uh, yeah i think he, that that's that's what according to wikipedia yeah one of them included a lot of stories in his uh autobiography one of them included having a hangover when he pitched his uh, his perfect game. So there you go, gang. Uh, once again, that is for Steve. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.